All right, more Star Trek rumors, and, and none of it's good. Uh, there's never anything good <laughs> for Star Trek these days. But, um, well, uh, I, and then you got to do a quick correction from the previous video I did about uh, Kurtzman being fired. I should have put in the uh, a thumbnail a question mark because it was all a rumor, and uh, it there may be some some truth to it and some some not so much truth to it and uh, that I, I, and it, plus the the way the, the the rumor was handled was that oh it would be something announced in July like he's moving on he's working on the Clarice uh, TV series now and uh, that sounds like yeah he's moved on uh, but as far as being actually fired and all that sort of thing uh, you just don't know. And uh, others have said, "Dad, you know, because it's it's it, it's like it's too good to be true." <laughs> but these new rumors, which uh, are, are coming out, seems to correspond with that sort of uh, scenario. In that, uh, you know, they won't. I don't think they're ever going to announce that he was fired. He was just that, uh, you know, we're moving forward with a new direction or whatever, and he's busy with Clarice and all that. So, and Clarice being the you know the Hannibal Lecter or Science of the Lamb series, but apparently they can't use Hannibal in it because of the rights. Well, anyway, that's another story. Uh, so the I've got uh, Cosmic Book News here and the leaks, and he's managed to put them all in a good, nice little list here for me. <laughs> so uh, there is no solid plan for Star Trek going forward. Everything is a mad scramble. Star Trek has never been doing worse for CBS. Yeah, yeah, you can take that to the bank. CBS management is furious at the hostile reception to Star Trek Discovery and Star Trek Picard. Creator, executive producer Alex Kurtzman is in the firing line. Okay, so not fired, but oh, they, they're not happy with him. It said Kurtzman pulled the trigger on the Section 31 series, but it's a lie, as there is no show. Yeah, I really don't see that one coming uh, to fruition. Star Trek Discovery Season 3 will be its last. Well, wow. Wow. it's a, it's pretty amazing it even got a third season. <laughs> but because, man, yeah, that's money you got to spend on a show you know is dead. But anyway, there is nothing planned for anything beyond Star Trek Discovery Season 3. Its last episode was written as a series finale. Well, that's that's probably for the best. The CBS All Access streaming service will be merged into a new... That's This is true. I mean, that's pretty much a done deal. Uh, a new Viacom streaming service and all the shows on CBS All Access will be reevaluated, including the entire Star Trek franchise and who is in charge of it. So, yeah, they're going to do this. Uh, it's not going to be like a, I don't, you know, a, a separate uh, entity, you know, and they'll both run it. I think it'll all be merged into one thing. Perhaps, I don't know, Viacom, CBS, All Access, I don't know, <laughs> Viacom, I don't know how they're going to uh, 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 title it, but that's, that, sure, that's, yeah, that's real. Brian Fuller has been approached to take over the Star Trek franchise, but is said to have rejected the offer <laughs> because of how they treated him and parted ways with Star Trek, Disco ways before Star Trek Discovery premiered. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame him at all. You know, <laughs> it's not just how they treated him so badly, but then they stole his ideas and and uh, and didn't and did them terribly. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, I remember I said this earlier, and someone responded, "Hey, it's not stealing." You know, he signed on and all that, and yeah, but I mean, the pitch for Picard and all that was other ideas he had when he came on back when he was all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and excited, and then they, you know. Uh, well, yeah, then he got the real story, but, um, so yeah, that doesn't quite, the Star Trek Discovery, which they credit him for, you know, but, uh, Picard, no, he's not credited for that, so, uh, yeah, they, they stole it, and I imagine his ideas from what the leaks, if the leaks were, again, leaks, straight would do, sounded a lot better, uh, than what they went with here with, uh, the Picard series. But what are you going to do? All the new series following Lower Decks and the Nickelodeon show Prodigy are non-existent. <laughs> those shows will get one season each maximum or even get cut short. Now, those shows, I think it means Lower Decks and Prodigy, which I got to, it doesn't ring a bell. I hadn't heard of that. But Lower Decks was, the, you know, supposed to be the animated, you know, the cartoon comedy that was going to be on Nickelodeon. And I, that apparently is still going to happen because, uh, you know, it's already up and running. So... 
Uh, Kurtzman, yes, has been focusing, focusing on the Clarice show. Yeah, that's what Kurtzman does. Uh, Spider-Man, collapse burns, moves on. Universal Monsters, collapse burns, moves on. <laughs> so, Star Trek, collapse and burns. Ah, well, I got another show I can do. <laughs> so, hey, maybe this will work. Maybe at best it could be the new Hawaii Five O. So that you know he can get that going. Leaks are going around about plot details for a Pike show or Picard season two are fake. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Oh man, because the Pike show just made so much sense. <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah, it's not gonna happen. I don't even know if they could get Anson Mount back. He seemed pretty upset with his experience uh, on Discovery. So. Uh, they got nothing planned. Yeah, there's nothing more coming. Star Trek is a dumpster fire. A mess. Like Star Wars, merchandise... Yeah, and this is key. This is the most important part here about whether or not any of this has worked. You know, it's just, ah, oh, it's terrible, it's crap. Well, you don't know. They're saying it's a success, you know. But they never release their numbers uh, of what the subscriptions are for it uh, in response to Star Trek. So what, what can you do? Well, uh franchises like star trek star wars are the main thing is selling that merchandise that's where the big cash comes in and it's always been that way well uh merchandising doesn't lie and merchandising sales reveal star trek is an unparalleled debacle so they, they can't sell anything so plus they can't get anyone to enter the deal to even a, a, after the discovery uh, crashed and burned and it did it did yeah, you know, uh, the licensees just were not interested in this. So, uh, yeah, here there are even fewer licensees for Star Trek Picard than there are for Star Trek Discovery, which basically has none. I mean, that, oh, man, that is, it's just they've damaged the name of Star Trek so badly, you can't get these toy companies interested. They're not going to invest the material in developing stuff, something they will not sell. So it's pretty bad. So... Good old Doomcock uh, did his own uh, uh, take on this and has his own source and said the leaks above are 100% correct. <laughs> Star Trek animated shows will air because they are already funded. So there you go. The uh, Lower Decks and, uh, and that Prodigy, whatever that is, I, I, I'm not familiar with it. Those will air. So CBS has been putting out a lot of fake 4chan posts to discredit the leaker. Ira Burr and or Ron Moore will be recruited to come and, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> try to fix it. Um, so it's, that was one of the rumors I talked about in the previous video. And so maybe there's some truth to that, that they are approaching those guys. And uh, I, I know they can do good. It's just I don't think they can salvage what this is. I think they got to go the reboot, uh, uh, you know, avenue. Kurtzman demanded Section 31, but no one wants it or will fund it. So maybe the story about him going to Sherry Redstone's office was true. <laughs> I just wanted to do that picture of her kicking him out <laughs> off the bridge of the Enterprise. But, uh, you know, did it happen or not? It did happen that way uh, where he goes to her office and demands it. And she says, no, I'm not doing it. Uh I don't know. Plus, uh, he, you know, he had a contract and all that. So maybe there was some argument about it, but they, you know, it's just, yeah. But I imagine the stipulation of the contract is that you actually got to produce something that's making money and you didn't. So I don't know that he can really hold that over their heads so much. There is a franchise wide hate about the idea of a section 31 TV show. Yeah, it's terrible. Don't do it. Something major may happen in June or July. All right, that fits in with that's what the the rumor about him being fired. Uh, but they won't say he's fired; that he's moved on. Um, so if anything, it's not making money; it's gone. Yeah. So Viacom is trying to figure out how to make their streaming service competitive with Disney and CBS All Access. Was uh, you know, and CBS was not cutting it. Yeah, they're. Their, their big franchise that they have to make something out of it is Star Trek, and instead they've destroyed it to where now the name of Star Trek uh, is, is in a bad uh, place. So how do you promote that? And that's supposed to be the backbone of your streaming service. <sighs> I saw even merging it with a new one. I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, you'll have to see how they finagle that. But... Uh, yeah, Star Trek uh, in a in a bad shape. Uh, 
And it's too bad. It's just too bad. Uh, so, uh, they, they already, they, they all, and they always do this where they, it's just like the movies where they announce the sequels in the works for a film and then the film bombs and then you never hear about the sequel again. <laughs> it's all this business of the Star Trek Picard season two. Ah, it's a done deal. It's on its way. Uh, I don't know. The showrunner bailed before they even announced. <laughs> so I, you know, I think that's just saving face and whatnot. And, uh, perhaps by June or July, we'll know for sure. Uh, what the future of Star Trek is, if there is any, which is odd because it's supposed to be a show all about the future, isn't it? Oh boy! But then they they keep uh, doing shows about prequels and whatnot. Except at least Picard's, you know, moving forward somewhat. But um, it's uh, yeah, it's all very very sad. All right, there we go. I hope that clears things up. <laughs> Rumors, you know. Thank you for watching and listening. Say, why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you. And check out my comic book, Night Night, over at IndiePlanet.com. And you can catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson's show, at new episodes every Saturday on RadioMisfits.com. And, of course, you can watch my videos over at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com.